Guys, Mr. Bowman here. We are continuing with 1.2 MCAT Algebra, and we're focusing on all the achieved questions for the 2017 exam. Um, we're going to get straight into question number 12. And question number 12, the distance, which is the D in the equation below, traveled by an object is given by this particular equation. If u is equal to 3, t is equal to 5, calculate the distance that the object has traveled. So this here is a substitution question. We're going to jot down the original equation. D is equal to u times t plus 3t squared. We're going to substitute in what we know. So we know u is equal to 3 and t is equal to 5. So that u is going to become 3 times the t, which is 5. We're going to add 3 times t squared, which is 5 squared. We then Use our bed mass to calculate that. 3 times 5 gets us to 15. And we're going to add 5 squared, which is 25. Times that by 3 gets you to 75. Finally, we finish up our answer. That there gets us to 90 centimeters. And don't forget about our units um, for this particular question. On question number 13, um, we've been given an equation in terms of h and x. And our job is to give the equation for x in terms of h. So what that means is we need to be x equals um, something to do with h. So we need to just rearrange the equation to get x to the subject. So we've got h is equal to 4, or sorry, 9 minus 4x squared. And we, oh, our job is to get rid of everything but that x. Um, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing that x is currently negative. So it's negative 4x squared. I find negatives a bit annoying to deal with. So I'm going to move that to the other side. And I'm going to do that by going plus 4x squared, which cancels those two out. And I'm going to do plus 4x squared on the other side. So I've got 4x squared plus h equals to 9. I'm now going to focus on getting rid of everything but the x. Um, I'm going to follow bed mass backwards. So I need to get rid of that addition and subtraction first. So opposite of h is minus h, minus h. So that gives us to 4x squared is equal to 9 minus h. Let's get rid of the times 4 before the squared. So we're going to go divide by 4, divide by 4. x squared is equal to 9 minus h divided by 4. And then finally, we can get rid of that square. Opposite of square is a square root. So that means I'm going to be square rooting both sides. Um, the square root and the square cancel each other out, leaving us with x. And then the next answer, plus or minus 9 minus h over 4. Just to remind about this plus or minus, when you've got the square root of 9, a lot of you will tell me that the answer is 3. But just to remind, it's 3 and negative 3, because negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. That's why we write plus or minus 3, because it represents the positive version and the negative version that could come up. Question, question 14. So there weren't too many achieved questions in this exam, um, but we've been given the area of a rectangle can be represented by this expression, and that's a quadratic, because I can see the x squared there. State the length and the width in terms of x. Um, so key thing to note, we're dealing with a rectangle, and the area of a rectangle is normally equal to the base times the height. So that's two things multiplied to each other. And that's actually what a quadratic is. When you've got those double brackets, it's this first bracket times the second bracket. So what this question is really secretly asking us to do, it's just asking us to factorize. And we find out what the two brackets are, and they would represent the two sides in terms of x of that rectangle we're looking at. So we're going to have 3x squared plus 2x minus 40. So the first thing I'm noticing is the 3 up front. That means I can't use my normal, easy quadratic factorizing methods. I've got to use the grouping method. And I'm going to do that by going 3 times negative 40. That there is equal to negative 120. I've now got to think, well, what multiplies to this negative 120 but adds together to get that positive 2? And I'm thinking it's something to do with 12 and 10 because they've got a difference of 2. Um, and the bigger one has to be positive. So let's go 12 plus negative 10. That there get, gets me to that positive 2. 
So I need to split the 2x into the 12x and the negative 10x. So we've got 3x squared plus 12x minus 10x minus 40. And the key thing to note, that middle part there, that still equals to 2x, it's just been changed a little bit. And now this is where the factorizing via the groups come into play. That's the first group. Let's single bracket factorize this. So we've got 3x, x plus 4. And let's single bracket factorize this. They've got a negative 10 in common, x plus 4. Noting negative 10 times 4 gets us to that negative 40 there. And I know I haven't done any math errors because I'm getting the same bracket twice. And that's perfect. It's exactly what I'm looking for. So we're going to have x plus 4 as my first bracket. And the leftover bits, 3x and negative 10, is going to be the second bracket. So that's my factor. I now quickly just want to state the sides. So answering the question, what are the length and the width of this rectangle? So length and width of rectangle. is x plus 4 and 3x minus 10. And that wraps up my question. Um, hopefully you found this video useful. Let's have a look at the other achieved focus questions.